What's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Revictious video and then today we're going to be looking at a global original Not global exclusive, global original because this is right there on that image I made, I made sure and picked to have this image this time guys a Global global exclusive is no longer a thing and hasn't been a thing for a long time I just wanted to make that very very clear So we're going to be talking about Venera and also I made slides for The STMRs on this banner, the 5 star STMRs So make sure you guys stay tuned for that Anyways, let's talk about Venera first. So her Olympus or her STMR is clearly not as good as Hawkeye's or Sora's. 50% Olympus damage. I mean, okay. I mean, Squalls eventually may become 60% in the future. I don't know when, the, when I don't know if any kind of buffs are going to be happening because the X2 buffs should have happened a long time ago already. At least a few weeks ago and it still hasn't come out. So I don't know about that. And 30% evasion, I mean, that's really low, right? That's not that good. I mean, it works with Gabranth, but 30% is not that good. So overall, I don't think her STMR is that good, but it's up to you. So infinite turns, 150%, true dual wield, six times cap, both sides, decent, pretty standard. 80% breaks on demand, also 85% breaks on a cooldown, not too bad. 90% attack and defense break, on her Magnus ability, which can be used four times. 200% on her base, 150% human killer on her on her brave shift, 25% dark element boost to all, all allies on a cooldown. Not too bad, not too bad. I wish that this next part was for everybody too, but unfortunately it's only for herself. 50% dark boost, but only for herself on her brave shift, only burst. Dagger break gauge, 100% Undead killer or Reaper killer on her Rave Shift and 45% evasion for both sides. That's all I could come up with in terms of positives because there's a lot of negatives. Uh, damage over time is just really awful, and even if you can, even apparently you can mod boost it via via your her Lone Burst, it's still not good. It's still not good. Damage over time will just always be bad because bosses have so many bosses. Even now, back then when Kato came out, I was already telling you guys that bosses are going to have a lot of HP. And now look at it. The bosses have an extremely large amount of HP. Like, why would you even... You, you'd be sitting around for ages waiting for damage over time to work. So what's the point? I don't know why Global has this fixation on this kind of stuff where it's like so much... So many meager, you know... Things in the, in the game like really weak mechanics like this kind of DOT or you know stuff like hybrid damage which hybrid is kind of on a lower end now because who cares about hybrids anymore uh too much so global seems to always care about all these smaller little me mechanics that don't actually mean anything anymore because we're not stuck in 2018 2019 anymore now if this unit came out like last year and she was a seven star maybe she, she would be pretty interesting because she would have 90 percent breaks but i mean even with apparently even with 90 percent breaks and a dark based team with her dark boost she still loses out to uh, a wind based team with with barts and ferris because 45 percent wind boost is just too much to compete with and her finishing maneuver in a brave shift form is just not that strong and apparently also it doesn't get mob boosted by her normal mod boost if, if now, she, now she got now let's let's turn the tables on this if her mod boost on her lone purse and her base for i know this is very confusing let's, let's keep up with me a little bit here her mod boost on her break on her normal ability like her normal lone purse gave a mod boost to her lone purse on her brief shift form and it was a pretty decent mod chunk mod boost of a chunk of mod boost now we probably would be talking, and if her 50% dark boost for was for everybody, not just for herself, then I think we'd be definitely in a in position where you might want to start making your dark team. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I thought maybe after the main, main uh, before the maintenance, you would have gotten a buff of some kind, but nope. There's there has not been any changes, guys. There has not been changes for for 
years at this point. The only time it ever happened was Esther, I think. I'm pretty sure the only other time it happened with Esther, now everybody's freaking out every single time there's kind of a global original unit, they have to make it so they can't r release the information until after the maintenance. It hasn't happened ever after that one incident, so every time now everybody's just gonna say, oh, what if she gets buffed, what if she get nerfed? Oh, if she gets nerfed, oh my god. Uh, now she needs buffs. I do think that Global should have given her more more things to worry about because she basically is just Dark Lock. The dark version of New Vision Lock. She basically just is Dark New Vision Lock. I can't think of much else. She, the damage over time is not worth worrying about. She only can Dark imbue herself, but Lock can imbue everybody for fire. But Of course, it's only one time, but at least he can do it. She can't even do that. I'm pretty sure she can't. And... She has no provoke chance, so she can't really, you have to make her 100% provoke from 0%, I'm pretty sure. Whereas lock, all you need is one Moogle Charm, but now you kind of need two Moogle Charms for her, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think she's that good. I think she's okay if you can make a dark based team and you don't have a wind based team, which probably, apparently everybody has because everybody's saying, oh, this is terrible because we just have wind anyway, so. Apparently everybody has Barts and Ferris, so if you if for some reason you're one of those weird situate you're one of those weirdos who don't have Ferris and, and Barts, I'm kidding by the way, uh, then she might actually be useful for something because 90% defense break does not exist on the JP side currently. 87% uh, break is the highest on Hawkeye. Everybody, including me, was thinking that she was going to be a weaker version of Hawkeye, but no, she's just a dark finisher, and her chaining is pathetic. It's really low, and her mod on her Luna Burst and her Rift Shift Forms only 85 times, which is pathetically bad at this point. Re really pathetic. Like this, is, that's like seven star finisher quality. So I'm just gonna give her, just because she can do breaks and stuff, she's not gonna get a super low score. She could be useful in the future. I'm sure she might, I don't think she'll be one of those situations where it's like, oh my God, now that I don't have her. She's, it's not, I don't think it's gonna be like an Ibarra situation because her modifier, is so low and we have much stronger finishers in the near future like Noctis for example and stuff like that so I don't think it's gonna be like a situation like that so I'm gonna give her an 8 out of 10 it's just it doesn't seem she doesn't seem that good in my personal opinion you can change change my mind change my mind I know there's gonna be one person in the comment section that's gonna try and change my mind he always makes a tons of comments I'm not saying that's a bad thing but I know he's gonna try he's gonna try his best uh, you're gonna have to convince me pretty hard to make this so that this is worth anything Anyways, let's go on to some STMR reviews here. If you stick, stay so far in the, in the video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to do a hashtag space and then the hashtag word uh, or the vision or hashtag space W O T V. Anyways, so we got Lion Armor here. And the reason why it's, I say maybe is because if you're not going for Zidane, if you're not going for eventually if Hawkeye exists or any kind of situation where it's similar to Hawkeye or they use their body slot and the reason why I always say this people don't seem to understand like there's gonna be units in the future that have TMRs like Beatrice and yes hers is not a body slot but you're not using a line armor on her but there's gonna be certain equipment in the future that'll get buffed and it gives people flat stats you guys like flat stats right it's much better than percentage so Hawkeye, for example, has something that gives him a lot of attack, give him, gives him demon killer. So he doesn't have space for this line armor. He doesn't need it. And Zidane is the same situation where gives, he gets a lot of flat attack when equipping his TMR, which is a body slot item. So where, how is he going to equip this? It just, and I'm, I'm not saying just for them, there's probably a lot more units in the future that will have something like this situation where they have a flat attack boost when equipping a body slot. That's how they're nerfing this item. So that's why I say maybe and no. If you're not interested in any of those kind of units, then sure. And apparently it's really cheap. I made this slide last night. So I didn't know that it was gonna be only one coin to get a stern. So if you really wanna go for it, go for it. But just be warned that you may not get as much use out of it as you as you would like. So with that being in mind, uh, King Reign's TMR is far more accessible. I'm sure most of you guys may have it. It's much more accessible and it's not a limited time banner. So already it's looking pretty good, right? So they're looking pretty good. It sure doesn't have as much attack. 
and doesn't have as much zone for his damage, but it's still there as a non-limited time option, so there's that. This is a joke, and I don't think it got buffed or anything like that, so it, it's just a joke. This is a joke STMR, and it was always was a joke STMR. 25% true dual wield. Why would you want this? Because it's just bad. There's a lot of TMRs and STMRs out there that are far better than this one. Uh, that are not limited time. So, yeah. And finally, we have Wings of that Transcend Time, which is Gilgamesh's STMR. The War of the Visions version, of course. And I say yes and maybe because it is very good. It is the top tier. It is obsessed. It's pr apparently it's much easier to pull right now and to get. So it is very good for both physical. Well, actually good for three things. Physical, fit magical, and hybrid as long as they want true dual wield, of course. And that bonus of 60% attack and magic is always very strong. But there exist alternatives that are not limited time, including... Raven Art, Love for Trabia, and also Yin Yang dual, dual Hand. So with those existing, this is just in the yes to maybe category. Not going to say no because it is very strong and it's very tempting to get. I was tempted. Of course, you guys know if you guys were here for a long time. Now you guys know how salty the Gilgamesh pulls were back then. Extremely salty. Extremely salty. So that's going to end the video for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a like on the video. And suddenly I have a very, very strong YouTube voice, apparently, uh, for this last part of the video. So make sure you leave a like for that, huh? Leave a like for that. And make sure you subscribe if you're new around here because I do videos like this often. I do reviews, I do pulls, I do streams, I do all that kind of good stuff. And we do a lot of other stuff around here too. So make sure you click that like button, make sure you click that subscribe button, all that kind of good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.